already click video settings for red screens. All right, so we're gonna go into, uh, we're gonna press add source, we go video capture device, create new video capture device, boom. And then let me actually pull up. This is what should pull up. And so you go into the device, select the GV USB. Here's my settings, resolution, FPS type, custom. So you go into custom instead of device default. Resolution 720 by 480, FPS 29.97 NTSC, video format any, color space default, color range default, buffering auto detect. Um, and then audio, audio output mode, I go capture audio only. And then if you go configure video, this will pull up your actual settings for your GV USB or whatever capture card you have. So we go weave for custom properties, which is pretty much like nothing actually. Um, like the deinterlacing you want to have in OBS. So you go weave, you do either composite or S video, depending on what you have. And then in here on your video decoder, instead of being on NTSC M, you go NTSC MJ. Um, and then you can mess around with your settings. And then for the deinterlacing, you just uh, right click on the actual thing itself under sources. So you click, here's my GVUSB, I'm going to right click it. And then you go into here to deinterlacing. And for deinterlacing, you want to go retro. And then, um, yeah, that's it. Then you should have everything set up. And then let's see, so here's. Here's um, what it looks like on here. It's probably, wait, let me go screen capture. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'd have to just turn on my console. It'll pop up. Yeah, um, configure crossbar doesn't really do anything for you. So that's all you should need to know how to do. And then um, when you go on your settings or whatever, you want to also make sure under video that you're on uh, 30 for FPS. So under se OBS settings, under video, you go 30 FPS, but then when you actually uh, double click your source and you're going into here, like on the actual GVUSB, you put that into 29.97. And yeah, you should be set.